Hey Tribe, I wanted to do a kind of a quick video instead of trying to type all this out. Um, kind of cover some things that I uh, get a lot of questions about and when we're reopening. Uh, share with you some of the things going on here at the gym. Even though we're closed, there's still stuff happening. So anyways, uh, the big question of course is the return date. We just don't know yet. Um, we're, uh, Mindy and I watch the, uh, the governor's website like a hawk and um, as of right now there's a three to six week plan of reopening things in phases and um, he announces uh, usually the, the Monday before things open up what's going to open and we did not get announced for the week of uh, May 11th so as of right now he can make an announcement on Monday May 11th that gyms fitness centers can open on May 18th. That's what I'm hoping for, um, but there's no guarantees. I, I just don't know, so it's all kind of a, a crapshoot at this point. Um, anyways, uh, so uh, we'll keep everybody up to date on that. Again, the announcements are made on Monday. Uh, I'll watch the briefing um, live. It's typically in the middle of the day, and again, I'll, I'll keep you uh, informed of that. But in the meantime, uh, we do have uh, our home tracks available on the SugarWatt app. The um, um, and I'll include that picture here, but uh, and there's a lot of stuff there. But the home tracks we've messed around with a lot of the programming. Uh, this has been a good time to kind of experiment and see what we liked. And uh, one of the things that we really like right now is the Icon Athlete by Chris Spiller, and he has uh, workouts that kind of mirror the regular workouts in the gym with home workouts. So as opposed to being a completely different workout. It is now something that kind of mirrors what uh, would be prescribed in the gym. So be sure and check that out on the home track. Also, um, there's still the IBC uh, weightlifting track. If you have access to weights or have borrowed some, uh, you can do some of that. Um, there is the uh, fit and core work, which is kind of a, um, a general um, high intensity little workout and usually some core work that's programmed, I think, five days a week. And um, then, of course, we have our Master Athlete track. Uh, that information is all in SugarWatt. Be sure and get on SugarWatt. Love to see more participation on SugarWatt. Not a lot of stuff's been posted. I know quite uh, a few members, a lot of members have equipment, and nobody's recording anything, very few. Um, give a shout-out to a few, though, that, uh, that have been real good about it. Uh, Melissa Little. Um, Kelly Cook, of course, Rev, always out there posting, but very little, and if I forgot somebody, it's not intentional, but very little um, from anybody else, especially those with um, equipment. So, um, of course, we don't, we're not officially open yet. We are hoping to be open by uh, Memorial Weekend, definitely by Memorial Weekend, but again, no certainty there. Um, Memorial Weekend or that Memorial Monday is always our MRF. Uh, we will have our shirts printed again for MRF. Uh, Mindy will get that information out there as soon as possible. And MRF, as prescribed, of course, for those that are not familiar with it, is a hero workout. We always do it on Memorial Day, Memorial Weekend. And um, it's a one mile run, 100 pull ups, 200 push ups, 300 squats, followed by a one mile run. Of course, we will scale that back. There are half MRFs with a half mile run and and uh, we can modify the uh, pull-ups, push-ups, whatever we need to do there. For those of you that want to do it RX and do it the way it's written on the CrossFit website, you do need a weighted vest. I have some, uh, 20 pounds for men, 14 pounds for women, but um, my weighted vests are about 10 years old, and um, you may, considering the, um, the pandemic and all the heightened um, sanitation stuff, we might want to get your own uh, weighted vest. So this gives you a couple of weeks to kind of prepare for that. If we're able to get everybody together, have you a weighted vest um, already in hand. Welcome to use mine. Again, they're a decade old. Um, my, um, we do, of course, have a lot of uh, master athletes in our gym. We are, um, I don't know what our percentage is, well over 75%. But um, master athletes, we have uh, a lot of opportunities still coming up for a competition, and not just Masters, but, but everybody as well. But uh, the Masters version of the Garage Games will be here on September 12th. So continue to keep training, continue to at least keep your fitness up as much as possible. Um, hopefully we'll be back in the gym, we'll be able to move weight again and get a normal CrossFit workouts in the group. But until then, 
uh, try to stay active. But September 12th, Garage Games Festivus, the weekend after September 19th, that's open to everybody. The Garage Games is 35 plus. Festivus is open to everybody except Gage Hanna. He's too good. Um, and then, uh, of course, we have our CrossFit open in uh, October. We'll have more details on that here fairly soon. Um, during the, uh, the shutdown, I, I want to give a uh, big shout out to all of the members who have uh, continued to keep up with your, your membership. Um, certainly wasn't required. It's greatly appreciated. We, um, um, they, they have stimulus money for businesses, but it is very, very slow. And we haven't seen anything on the CrossFit side yet. They have helped the uh, event business a little bit, which is our main source of income. Of course, um, they're eligible for unemployment. But none of that has been paid out yet where normal W-2 employees got theirs without even a week's waiting period. I, have, uh, I ran a meet in early March, which is really where I make my money, and haven't had a paycheck for two months now. So um, it, it is a big help for uh, you guys to keep up your memberships and for those of you that could. Uh, if you couldn't, it's certainly understandable. And uh, it's greatly appreciated. And as a sign of our appreciation, we want to um, give you guys a T-shirt. So we will um, reach out to you here fairly soon for those that kept up the membership, a special T-shirt just for you guys. We're not going to sell it to anybody else, but uh, as kind of the uh, big supporters of uh, CrossFit Intense. I do have a, uh, another bonus for those of you that stuck with us uh, that's uh, even, I think, a little better. Um, but uh, I'll get to that here in just a minute. During this time period, we did have the uh, Support Your Local box. Um, that was a uh, CrossFit.com uh, online competition. We had great support from everybody on that. Um, we, uh, we actually uh, were paid out $265. So thank you guys so much who did that, who donated. Uh, I don't have the details of who did what, but uh, I'm, I'm very appreciative of, uh, of you guys uh, doing that and helping us out during this time period. So I do want to get into some of the things that um, that have changed here at the gym since everybody's been gone, and I'm going to include some pictures here with this. If I can, I'm not really technically savvy, so I'm going to try to include pictures in this video uh, and and not destroy everything. But um, one thing we're going to change is uh, our schedule a little bit, and and we're still not sure what the restrictions are going to be when we open back up. As uh, most of you know, I pushed the envelope for a while. And um, we stopped classes, but we still allowed a lot of people to come to the gym. Of course, um, that um, had to stop. And um, here we are, uh, completely shut down, and nobody else is here but uh, Mindy and myself. But um, anyways, our, our schedule is going to be our same 5.15 in the morning, our 6, and uh, our 8. But I want to change that uh, 5.15 to a 5.30, and that's going to be effective as soon as we get back, open back up. Now we might have some restrictions with how uh, many people we can have in a class and, and again, all this stuff will be figured out and I'll share all that information as soon as I can. But I wanna change that 5.15 to a 5.30 p.m. That's the only change of the schedule right now. Um, hopefully be able to get some more people into that time period there because a 5.15 was too tough for people who got off work at five. Also, we're gonna start a Couch to CrossFit. Uh, it's gonna be a three week program. It's gonna be $100, uh, limited class size, but um, I've had quite a few people reach out about getting uh, started in CrossFit. Um, people want to get fit, you know, coming back from all the pandemic stuff. And I, I think um, we've seen from the health reports that being in shape and being more fit is, is going to help you when you inevitably do get sick. Um, so people are starting to put a little more emphasis on that. So Couch to CrossFit coming up, we'll get some more info out about that. Again, can't really set a date because we don't know when we're going to be open yet. Okay, um, some of the things that uh, we've done here while uh, we've been uh, shut down, every medicine ball that we have that had uh, tape on it, we had uh, a lot of Gorilla tape on our medicine balls because some of them are over a decade old, um, they have all been replaced. So I have no medicine balls with tape on them now. They have all been uh, tossed out. We added a ski erg to our cardio equipment lineup. It does come up in some competitions. Um, so if you travel somewhere to compete, now you have a chance to get on the ski erg and try it out. It's great too if you have uh, a knee issue or a lower body issue. Um, it, is, uh, it is a nasty, terrible uh, piece of equipment, but gives us a little more variety 
in our classes too. Um, we added the handstand push-up boards for those of us that uh, are trying to develop our handstand push-ups and especially eking out a rep or two, getting your heels stuck in the grout line of the, uh, of the wall was pretty tough. Plus those walls eat up the, um, the med balls a little bit. So the boards are sanded, we had them uh, painted. Um, they're, they're very smooth and uh, will be a nice um, place to be for being able to do your handstand push-ups and to practice and get better at that movement. Um, added the rope climb station. This is something I wanted to do for a while and uh, gives us opportunity to do uh, two full length rope climbs. I do have a third full length rope that we can attach to um, one of the uh, little shrimp trawlers that are attached to the 30 foot rig. And then of course I have a short rope that is a legless uh, rope climb. But a lot of um, uh, rope climbs can happen there. They'll come up in competition. We'll see them some in the class, but not a ton. Um, but again, that's been something we really needed to, um, to add into our, our, our equipment list. Um, we've expanded our mats. We took the uh, uh, turf area that was utilized a little bit, but very, very little, and expanded the mat area. So we added, uh, with all the extra mats, we added almost 400 square feet of matted space. So now we can break into groups a little better. Calster CrossFit might be able to go over to that side and, uh, and work in that general area. And then uh, my roller holder, I don't really know what else to call it, but uh, that kind of cleaned up the rollers, which were a little bit of a mess in the mobility room. And uh, of course, we're going into our summer months, gets pretty hot in here. So we added a uh, second 42 inch drum fan. So now two big drum fans. Um, so those are the equipment and, um, and, and changes we, we've worked on here in the gym. And um, one other thing that we're going to have uh, go into effect here very soon, I'm hoping within the next week, maybe two, is we're going to go to a 24-hour access system. And uh, what that is is uh, Hybrid AF is, uh, is the company that will uh, take care of the install. We'll be on the side door where the uh, CrossFit side is. You will use an app and uh, you will be able to scan in. It will unlock the door for you and um, it will also check you in so you won't have to use WAD together to check in at that point. So it's a really cool system. We did a lot of research on this, and um, it's just something we really have been meaning to, to uh, move to for a while and hadn't pulled the trigger, and now it was time. It will be an additional charge for new members. Everybody, again, this is another one of the benefits, you guys sticking around, and I, again, really appreciate everybody keeping up with their membership during this time period, but existing members, CrossFit, and uh, IBC that stayed with us here during the uh, the closure, you guys will be grandfathered in and have automatic access to the 24-hour uh, door lock system. Everybody else will pay an upcharge to uh, get into that system. We do pay for it on a monthly basis, and there is an initial uh, install, but I do think it's uh, well worth it. Adds a lot of value here to the facility and uh, gives, gives some security to it. So we'll go over more details of that as, um, as we get a little closer to um, opening and, and getting that installed and, and that program kicked off. And um, finally, I do want to put out there too that um, we do have um, quite a bit of uh, equipment uh, loaned out and I'm, I'm all for that. I think that's great if people want to utilize it again. But uh, what I've asked uh, everybody to do is if you're not using it, if it's just sitting in your garage or your basement or worse yet in your vehicle um, and uh, you're not using it at all, please bring it back, get in touch with me. I know the place is locked up, but uh, get in touch with me and we can exchange it for something else or just return it. Um, we have some people that have wanted to get some equipment and you know we're a little short now because we've got a lot of it uh, loaned out. Again, I, I'm all for people using equipment and, um, and I'd like to see some activity on Sugar Wad uh, that we are utilizing the equipment, we're doing workouts. But uh, again, if you got some equipment, you're not using it, please just return it so other people can uh, get it uh, rented out. Guys, that's all I had. I hope everybody's being safe and uh, at least uh, trying to get other projects done during this downtime. I know we certainly have been. Um, I'm most looking forward to uh, the gym opening back up so I don't have to work as hard anymore. But I um, hope everybody's well. Thank you again so much for all the support, and we'll hopefully see you soon.